Welcome to today's Science Inquiry. I'm George Wolf. Now, today's challenge is going to involve a couple of cups, a couple of liquids, and just some candle wax. Now, you guys know enough to be suspicious when I say something like a couple of cups and a couple of liquids. That suggests to you they may be different. Well, let's see if they are. I'm going to take this first candle and I'm going to drop it in here. And what do you think is going to happen? Well, most of you know that indeed wax will float because this is water and that's wax. But once again, using those suspicious scientific inquiring minds, you're wondering, well, I wonder if that's water too. Well, you know me too well because sure enough, you'll notice that that candle did not float on that. It sunk, which suggests to you it's not water. And I'll tell you this, it's rubbing alcohol. Well, that's going to bring us to a question, but before I give you the question, I want you to look up a term, and that term is density. Now, after you've looked up the term density, try and answer the question that goes along with this challenge. Why did the candle sink to the bottom on this one and float in this one? Good luck. When you answered that question, did you predict that wax has a greater density than alcohol and a lower density than water? Well, if you did, you got that right answer. And you know what? Let's talk about this. You know, a lot of people think that density is the same thing as weight, but it's not. Because you know what? No matter, you know, let's take a look at this. I'm going to put a big piece of candle in here and take a look at what happens. The big piece of candle floats, and even the, in this one, the little piece sinks, so, so, can, so wax is always going to be more dense than alcohol and less dense than water. It's not going to change. Density is density is density, and we better go to the board and figure out what that really means. You guys probably learned in school that density is defined as mass per unit of volume. And if you're a little more advanced, you have an equation for it. D equals M over V. But what does that really mean? Well, I want you to picture a, a, a cube of wood and a cube the same size of lead. And I want you to think about it. Lead, wood, same size. Would one be heavier than the other? Of course it would. Why? They're the same size, and it's because there's more mass squished into that cube of lead than there is into that cube of wood. And so the way I've shown it with this picture is lots and lots of mass inside of the lead cube and not so much mass inside of the wood cube. Therefore, this would be less dense, less mass in the unit of volume. You see, mass per unit of volume makes perfect sense. Does it? Well, let me give you a little test. Here's our three substances from our demonstration. One of these will be lead. One, well, we didn't use lead. One of those will be alcohol. One of those will be water. And one of those will be the candle, the wax. Can you tell me which one? Let's start out with the water. Which one was the most dense of the three? And that would be the water. And that would make this water, because it has the most mass per unit of volume. Now. What floated on the water? Hmm, what floated on the water was the candle. Now, either one of these are less dense than the water. So which one is it? Well, what was more dense than the alcohol? The candle. More dense than the alcohol. This would be the candle. This would be the alcohol. Now, that brings to mind another cool question. Would the alcohol float on the water? And that may be a little experiment you could try at home. Let's summarize this. Number one, density is mass per unit of volume. Number two, liquids can have different densities. Number three, solids will float on liquids that they are less dense than, and they will sink in liquids that they are more dense than. That is very cool stuff. Now, I'm George Wolf, and I want you to remember to discuss today's science inquiry with your class and your teacher. And I'll challenge you again next time. But remember this, you won't get any answers unless you ask those great questions. Take care.